There are so many ways to describe Jimmy V, a passionate coach, a charismatic personality, a life lost too soon. To his daughter, he was a loving father. I recently had the chance to talk with her. She reflected on her dad's everlasting impact. You know this coach, his life, both public and private, pocketed with love and legacy on the court. He um, was certainly not quiet. I mean, he jumped and he shouted and paced. Legendary NC State basketball coach Jimmy V had a deep passion for basketball. And so inspiring to see someone so excited. But off the court, in his home surrounded by family, was a softer side to Jimmy V. A lot of people don't know that he was an English major and he loved poetry. Jimmy V's daughter, Jamie, remembers her father as a compassionate man with a sense of humor. And so he would, you know, go around the house just reciting literature all the time. So there was this beautiful side to him. But when basketball season came around, just a young girl, I looked at my dad as if he was a hero. A young Jamie enjoying games from the stands knew the kind of impact her dad had not only in basketball, but the sports community as a whole. If you've ever seen somebody do something that they were born um, to do, it's so beautiful. A bright future in basketball was waiting for Jimmy V. From playing college basketball to a dynamic coaching career to leading his NC State men's basketball team to a national championship in 1983. Like this year's team, the Cardiac Pack were always the underdog. You know, I can remember like it was yesterday, coming back and flying in to RDU and seeing We'd went to Reynolds Coliseum and there was just the sea of fans that were there cheering for us. A win he dreamed of at a young age. One of my favorite stories that he used to share, he wrote at 17 he wanted to win a national championship. While the national championship title was a moment to remember, Jimmy V's life shifted after he was diagnosed with cancer in 1992. The next year, he was honored at the ESPYs. He received an award and delivered a captivating speech many still know today. He challenged us to laugh, think, and cry so we'd always have a full day. When he sat back down next to, to me, he leaned over to my mom and, and to myself and he whispered, did I do okay? And that was such a special moment because that made me realize how important it was. I, on a daily basis, you know, whisper to my dad, I think you did more than okay. Sadly, two months after his well-known speech, Jimmy V lost his battle to cancer. In that speech, he launched his foundation for cancer research called the V Foundation, hoping it would help save lives like Jamie's. He prophetically spoke those words 13 years prior to my diagnosis. Jamie was diagnosed with breast cancer and was told by doctors it was most likely a genetic type. Not only did they know how to treat me and increase my chances of survival, but also because of cancer research, I'm an 18-year cancer survivor. To this day, Coach V's legacy continues on through the V Foundation, his induction into the Basketball Hall of Fame, and this year's March Madness Cinderella Run. I know my dad would be overjoyed um, to know that the Wolf Pack is, is headed to the Final Four. Many honoring the late coach by placing flowers and NC State gear on his grave. It really speaks to the power of legacy. A beautiful reminder. My dad left footprints um, and that 83 team for this team now to follow. He's never forgotten. The V Foundation has raised more than $330 million for cancer research. As for the current team, Jamie says she has always admired coach Kevin Keats. I mean, she seems like such an incredible woman. Oh, she really is, and you can tell just how much um, her dad meant to her. And just being able to see all of the NC State community honor her father um, to this day really touches the family. That's a great story, Sydney. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right.